What's up everybody, it's Nick here from Aquascapes. It is a beautiful morning. Today, what we wanna show you is the main differences between a commercial and a residential clean out. I can't tell you where we're going yet, but it's gonna be awesome, I promise you that. Alright guys, if you cannot tell, we made it. Here we are, the Shed Aquarium. We're doing one of the biggest commercial cleanouts that we have. We're bringing all hands on deck today. It's gonna be a good day. Plus, how can you be mad when you got that skyline in the background? Here we go, Calvary's arrived. So as you can tell, parking, is a logistical nightmare on any project of this size. Plus we're in the city, so we're trying to park wherever we can. Plus within the next five to 10 minutes, this place is gonna be loading up because this is the main entrance to drop people off and pick people up. So there's gonna be cars nonstop all day. We're gonna have to put cones around our trucks so nobody hits them and so we still have space to work. And then uh, we're gonna get right into this. See, I'm already about to get hit by a car. So we have one, two, and three features to clean today. This is a huge undertaking. It's a beautiful day, sun shining, we're right on the lake. It doesn't get any better than this. Basically what Josh was just going over was how much of a challenge this really is logistically. I mean, not only do we have to worry about parking our vehicles and getting in other people's way, but we also have to find the best way to get electric out here. So we have to bring five times as many extension cords as we usually do, as well as hoses, as well as clean out hoses to discharge all that water. And we're about to get started. Unload the truck, here we go. One time I caught this fish out on Lake Michigan and they thought it was a world record, so they just made a statue of it for me. If I'm standing out in front of the iconic Shed Aquarium, one of my favorite places growing up as a kid. We did a water feature here more than a decade ago. Since then, we've done two others. We have a big giant waterfall here on the front. We have another little uh, entry over here. This is a very, very busy area for tourism, as well as local schools and everything show up here at the Shed Aquarium, just because of all the cool stuff that they have here. So it was an honor for us to be invited down here. So I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a walkthrough here of some of the different projects that we have. Hopefully we can navigate stuff around. I just got word from the guys over here. They're having trouble draining the water out, and it's because the power's not turned on. That's the deal with uh, commercial work. Guys got here a little bit ago. You can see they started draining water down. We're gonna start power washing everything, cleaning out debris. The key with uh, coming in with a big water feature like this from a maintenance standpoint is a lot of people. So we wanna have a good sized team that can come in and tackle everything. We have all of our trucks lined up. We got mine, we have our, our other box truck over here, and then we have our bigger truck over on the other side. So we have everything that we need and more. So we have extra pieces, we have parts. We wanna have everything taken care of because if we don't, to go to a Home Depot, you're blowing hours. So making sure we have all of the necessary equipment is key to a successful project. And that's for any type of maintenance. If it's backyard residential, we wanna make sure that we have everything. So as well as the two features in the front, we also have a feature that's all the way around the other side of the shed. So right now, that's where I'm going. I'm gonna check it out, see what we need over there. This is the third and final feature that we have to clean today. It's right by the Shed Aquarium food court area. So everybody gets lunch and gets to come out here and sit and see this one. We are gonna get rocking and rolling on this. We'll see you in a bit. So 
So one downside about being so close to this food court area is this accumulates so much trash throughout the year. Napkins, plastic bags, like you name it, it ends up in here. So no better time for us to get this thing spick and span. So obviously one of the big differences in doing a commercial project versus residential, there's no water spigots anywhere. So the only way to get water is to tap into the irrigation. So you have a contact here and every year when we come here, that's where that's who we get them from? Yes, Christine. That allows us to tee in to the irrigation line wherever we're at. It's got good pressure. That's all I like to hear. Let's see that pressure. Oh yeah! That's like a water feature itself. Hey Jerry! Oh, there it is. Love this view. Here's the shed right on the shore of Lake Michigan. Let's go check out what the other guys are doing on the back water features. So we have two water features over here in the front, over by the bus turnaround area. The other water feature actually, which was the first water feature that we did here, um, is located on the back side. My favorite view of the city. And then, right on the other side, guys are power washing the beautiful uh, terrace area where uh, the lunchroom is located. Christine and her team came in and did this incredible planting area, all native plants for wildlife. As we all know, water is the source of life. We uh, kind of designed and built this uh, little meandering stream system here, and that's because of all the pollinating insects and all the different beneficial animals uh, that are found in and around the Chicagoland area. Even though we have Lake Michigan here, this is big, it's deep. Actually, look around the perimeter, that's all concrete all the way around the edge really not conducive for animals to come down and get a drink versus this. So we have little gentle slopes. We have rocks that are right at the water level. We have little beach areas where things could walk down and they could have access to that water. So it's a completely different environment. Busy day down here as usual, it is Friday, but here it is, Shed Aquarium. They dropped in that big old sign above everything, which looks pretty cool. Got our waterfall kind of cascading out from underneath this stuff. So they have an incredible landscape team here. Christine Nye and her team do a phenomenal job. I mean, the amount of plant material that they've brought into the shed here over the years is unreal. It was just basically a mound of nothing. From a maintenance perspective, this feature has an 8,000 gallon underground reservoir underneath all of this stuff. Pumps are located underneath this fake rock over here here for, for maintenance. We have our control panels kind of tucked back over here. The 8,000 gallon reservoir is designed to have enough water operating here. It could actually evaporate away some water and have it splashed and stuff like that without causing problems. We don't have enough volume of water. Now this is an ecosystem style palmless waterfall. So we do have some, a little bit of a wetland filtration up on top. So here's the other little uh, decorative pond. This has been uh, sitting here for a while. We've got a bunch of debris down here in the bottom that needs to be taken care of. We have our little intake bay over on that side. Irises, these probably need to be cleaned out a little bit. We'll probably trim up some of that stuff. Water clarity is fantastic. What we want to do though is we want to try to get out all that leaf debris and all that junk out of there because that'll give us the good long-term water quality that we're looking for. They don't have fish here because they were afraid people would take them fish them out, catch them, things like that. It's a madhouse over here. We got two power washers going. I don't even know how many pumps we have going. This stuff is getting done fast, efficient, and we are attacking it full bore. What's up, Eli? Juan washing down. Pichu over there, power washing. Josh, man in the pump. Got Matt over here, power washing, playing guitar.
So we're at a point now where these guys are just rinsing down. We're basically almost there. That's all we got left. A couple of us are gonna break off and head back up front to reunite with the guys and see if we can get that thing knocked out faster up front. Looks good. All right guys, so as you can see behind me, clear water running in the main front feature. I know the one in the back is already done and we got guys on the third and final feature that we have to clean today. It's a total team effort. Everybody's just been pitching in, killing it today. Uh, the weather's been perfect, which we've appreciated. You can see all this nice, clean water in here. We got Micho and Juan. These guys have been the powerhouses of this main feature this morning. You can see these guys have these four tanks set up right here, right in front of the shed. This is the third and final feature that we have to clean today. Save as much water as we can to put back in or use for rinse water. What's up, boys? Well, let me do a Duffy for you real quick. <laughs> Where are you going? Going to the water feature? Fresh and clean. Nice job, boys. See the guys, they're mounting up, getting out of here. Everybody killed it. Nice job today. Thanks, baby. Boom. Boom. Meet y'all. Boom. 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 All right, guys. So we just wrapped up doing the clean out at the Shed Aquarium. We are all done. The trucks just pulled out. I'm the last one here. Team Aquascape doing this stuff all the time. If you want to be a part of something really awesome, subscribe, watch, listen, learn. See ya. Peace.